trunk yeah. open up a summer so a good price at a site in my whole got Hi guys and welcome to Barn Tech Tips and before we begin hit the subscribe button and the bell icon. Today is another episode of Superfast Tech and today we will talk about Intel's technology which is called hyper threading. And I will also clear some myths about hi hyper threading that people usually have. By the way, if you want to check the CPUs from AMD and Intel that have multiple threads, you can check the link in the video description. So a lot of people think that multiple threads means multiple cores. Had this been actually this simple, then Intel and AMD, both the manufacturers, would have used the same statement as a selling point for their CPUs, but it is not as we think it is. Hyperthreading does not multiply the number of cores that the CPU has. For example, if you have a dual core CPU, it will not turn it into a quad core because the CPU is already manufactured and the physical cores of the CPU cannot be changed with any software alteration. Hyperthreading is a scheduling technique for the CPU workload. The threads do not process anything itself, they only prioritize the tasks for the CPU. For example, if you are doing video editing on your system, the first frame is handled by thread 1 and the CPU is asked to process the first frame because thread 1 is holding the frame. Now simultaneously, thread 2 is holding the next frame and once the CPU processes the thread 1's task, it will directly go to thread 2's frame that needs to be processed. Now because the video is already shot, the system does not have to wait for an input from the user. So in multi-threaded workloads, hyper-threading does help, but it only helps in scheduling the tasks for the CPU. But what happens to single-threaded workload? Well, multi-threading or hyper-threading helps a little or not at all in single-threaded workloads. For example, if you are playing a game, the system does not know what would happen next because it depends on the gamer's input. In such scenarios, multi-threading does not help at all because thread 2 or thread 1 for that matter does not know the next input from the user. So multi-threading does not increase the number of cores in the CPU, it only schedules the tasks for the CPU to be processed and it increases the power consumption of the system it also increases the efficiency of the workload for the CPU.